In this clip, we'll learn how to set up Maya to use the MGO plugin that's included with Mari. Okay, great. So again, I've got the exact same asset that we worked with in the previous clip on my screen here. You can open up this exercise file if you want to follow along for this particular clip. Now, when it comes to moving this particular asset over into Mari, there is a manual way, which we'll take a look at uh, in the next module. But in this module, I wanted to show you a better way to work back and forth between Maya and Mari. It's called MGO, and this is actually a plugin that comes included with Mari. Now, this is active on the Mari side. We don't have to do anything special over there. However, here inside of Maya, we will have to take a few steps in order to utilize this plugin inside of Maya. Now, I'm going to first jump over to Mari. So I can show you that there is some documentation that you can access for this plugin. Now it's not going to be under the help menu. It's actually hidden deep under the Python menu. So follow me here. We'll go to Python examples all the way down to the bottom here to the MGO sub menu. And then in this menu that pops up here, it's going to be the very last option here. I apologize. That's off of screen, but it just says MGO manual PDF. So let me go ahead and click that and you can see here we have the MGO manual that's opened up here inside of Acrobat. And there is sort of a table of contents that it starts off with. But the important thing that you want to pay attention to is probably this first option here for installation. Now you can get to this installation page which can walk you through this process but it's really pretty simple and I'll show you how to do that in this video. Let's go ahead and minimize this for right now. Actually, I'll just drag that over to another screen, just like so. And I'm going to drag over a couple of Windows Explorer windows. All right, there we go. OK, so the first one here is inside of my program files. I am working on Windows, by the way. Inside of program files, you'll see my Mari installation. This is where the Mari install files are. And this is where we need to go first, because there's some files nested deep in this directory that we actually need. You'll need to go to whatever the current version of Mari is that you're using. Let's come over here to the bundle directory. We'll drill down into media. And then we're going to scroll down in here until we see scripts right there. Now here we go. We have a few different directories. We're going to go inside of the Maya directory and we'll have two folders here, one for icons and one for scripts. We're going to need both of these. But let me show you where they're going to go. I'm going to come over here inside of my documents and we'll look in the Maya directory and in the current version that you're using. In this case, I'm using Maya 2017. So inside of my preferences folder, you'll notice that there is both an icons folder and a scripts folder. What you'll need to do is you'll need to come in and paste the contents of each of these directories over here into their uh, counterparts. So the icons directory, all of these images, we'll go into the icons directory here. And you can see I've already pasted them over. Now, over here under scripts, you'll notice that the contents of my documents, uh, or rather my Maya preferences scripts folder, is matching the contents of this scripts folder nested inside the Mari install files. So these are files you'll want to copy over as well. OK, that's step one. So now Maya knows where these files are. We can access these files inside of our Maya preferences. Just a heads up, if for some reason you ever have to delete your preferences and let Maya recreate those, these will be files you'll need to copy back over because obviously you'll have deleted the ones that were you just pasted. OK, so let me just drag these off screen. Just like so. Great. And I'm going to jump back over into Maya. Now, the way I like to do this is I like to create a shelf for this information. And it's really easy inside of Maya to create a new shelf. We can just come over here to this little gear icon and just say new shelf. And Maya will want a name. So let's go ahead and give it the name Mari. OK, so there's our Mari shelf. You can see it is currently empty. All right. Now, at this point, we're going to need to refer back to this documentation. There is a little piece of Python code that we're going to need. So I will go ahead and include this in a text file inside the referenced files folder of your exercise files. If you don't want to have to reference this PDF, but what we're looking for is on this installation page and it's right here. And we're just going to select this information and copy that. 
I'll just use control C to copy. And back over here inside of Maya, let's go ahead and open up the script editor. There we go. And I'm just going to simply paste this in, but I'm going to paste it in to the Python tab here, just like so. Fantastic. So now a really easy way to create this shelf icon is just to simply select this code, middle click and drag it and drop it into that shelf. And you can see here we've created a new icon that will uh, basically launch that piece of code. Now I like to come in here and edit this just a little bit. We can come over here and right click on that and choose edit. And once we're inside the shelf editor over here on the shelves tab, we can give it maybe a little bit better icon. We just copied several images over. So if I were to come in here and browse to the my documents folder inside of Maya 2017 preferences icons, we can come in here and select an Imgo icon. You can see there are several of them. You can really use whichever icon you want. I personally prefer this little guy right here. It's nice and small. So we'll go ahead and say open. And there we go. That has now changed the icon for our MGO plugin. Now let's go ahead and close that. And let me show you what it looks like when we launch that little piece of Python script via this shelf icon. So we'll go ahead and launch that. And you can see here that everything has now been connected. This is what we should see. This is a little MGO window and there's a lot of functionality here. So if you are not getting the MGO plugin to launch, I would reference that PDF and maybe watch this video again and see if you've followed each and every one of those steps exactly. Okay, great. At this point, let's go ahead and move on to our next clip and I'll show you how to use this MGO plugin to send your asset over to Mari.